I've been waiting a long time for you to begin your journey. People are afraid, and fear breeds hopelessness. Gotham needs something that you can provide. What? A protector, Bruce. What's going on guys? So we finally, finally freaking have some new Gotham footage for the second half of season two. And it is all basically about Bruce Wayne freaking starting his training to become Batman. And this is something I've talked about with this show that I've wanted to happen for a really long time. So this footage is awesome, but at the same time, it's all like, mm, we gotta be a little bit uh, detective-y with this whole thing because a majority of this footage could easily be the evil Bruce Wayne or the Court of Owls Bruce Wayne instead of our Bruce Wayne. So we're going to go ahead and break this down and kind of decipher who is who in this along with all the other little things that we find in this trailer. So the trailer starts off with Bruce seemingly waking up somewhere he doesn't know about. Like he's like somebody captured him and he woke up in his cell and somebody you see somebody looking over him and then you go and it cuts to you know this old guy talking and then it cuts to another flashback of like when his parents were died when his parents died on episode one so that's a lot to see right there and it's a lot to talk about uh we don't really need to talk about his parents dying we all know that story but why and where is freaking bruce waking up two questions we are going to answer but i'm going to answer them at the end of the video because uh I think everything else needs to be talked about before we talk about those two things because it kind of goes hand in hand. After the whole uh, murder scene of uh, his parents, we see the whole fight scene that we've already seen this before. We've seen this footage of Bruce fighting the three or four thugs that he's already met before. Now, a lot of speculation is that this fight scene is actually evil Bruce and not the Bruce Wayne we know that we've you know had for the last three or four seasons. Three seasons, not four seasons. I'm getting a little ahead of myself because they haven't confirmed that yet. But we're hoping for season four. Anyways, we see this fighting, right? And a lot of people in the comments when I did my last video are like, Oh, Juice, I think that's evil Bruce, not regular Bruce. And you know what? It did seem a lot like that after I watched the footage. I was like, you know what? They're actually probably everybody's pretty right. Uh, and here, they're making it seem like this is actually Bruce. So it's kind of like... Like, mm, well, what are, what are they doing here? Because they've done this plenty of times in trailers before. They cut it to make it look one way, and it's actually a different way. So uh, I am going to lean more towards this being evil Bruce, just because I don't think Bruce is good enough at fighting yet that he'd be able to take on four or five people. But at the same time, we don't know when this little fight is going to happen. Is it going to happen after he talks to this shaman guy and learns how to fight a little bit? Is it going to happen on the first episode back? And I think it is going to happen on the first episode back because it was part of the Riddler, you know, how the Riddler got his name trailer. So I do think we're going to actually see this part. I don't know about all that other shaman stuff happening. Uh, and I don't know if this is all going to happen in the first episode back because it seems like a lot. But like I said, we'll get to the rest of that in a little bit. After the whole fight scene cut to Bruce and Alfred doing some training and Bruce automatically hitting the bullseye with a knife and I'm pretty sure that got followed by Alfred making some kind of cheeky comment to him. But uh, again, is this Bruce or is it evil Bruce? And the, the theories are going to happen at the end of this video, I'm telling you. Cut to a little montage of Ivy, Firefly, and uh, we, I guess we can call him the Executioner now, but uh, Barnes here getting a new little outfit and he seems like he's got a whole Hannibal Lecter thing going on. So who took him out of Arkham? Is it the Court of Owls? Is it the League of Assassins? I don't know. Honestly, it's probably the Court of Owls and they feel like they can use him to kill Gordon because that's what Barnes wanted to do before he got arrested. And then we see the, then we see the Riddler doing a hello to all the audience that he's in some kind of dome our theater right here with a whole bunch of people. He's actually got a sword for some reason. And if you pay attention when it cuts to the second shot that actually shows the dome in the bottom right corner of this video right here, you see somebody's laying down. So more than likely, the Riddler took over this stage and possibly killed who was ever actually on the stage and he took their sword. Maybe he killed them with the sword. I'm not too sure. 
But this could be something that happens in the first episode of How the Riddler Got His Name. Maybe he's going through the city just making it known that he is the boss. After that, it cuts to the shaman guy telling that Bruce has a purpose. Bruce asks what? And he says that, you know, to be a protector for Gotham City. And then it cuts to a fighting montage of, you know, possibly evil Bruce kicking all those guys' asses. And then Bruce training with some, like, kendo sticks or something like that in that dungeon tower with creepy shaman guy standing behind him and watching and then the trailer ends with evil bruce just giving like his evil stare and that's pretty much the whole trailer right there so it's basically all bruce wayne we got a little bit of taste of villains and stuff like that that are just going to come out through the season but one thing we didn't get in this mini trailer is we didn't see Raj al Ghul or Raish al Ghul, however you want to say it, Raz al Ghul. We didn't see him and a lot of people thought that Raz al Ghul was going to be the one to be training Bruce. But what if, what if he's actually also just a student of this shaman guy that is teaching Bruce Wayne? But we have a lot of questions here. We have a lot of questions here and this is what I want to talk about because again, why the hell is Bruce in this whole freaking shaman training place and why is evil Bruce Wayne just running around the city doing whatever the hell he wants it seems. First things first I'm the realist. Secondly who is this dude right here and could he be Raz al Ghul? Like I said what if Raz is actually a student of this other shaman guy that we don't have a name for yet and maybe he's training along with Bruce or maybe he's his best pupil or whatever and this shaman guy is running the League of Assassins but they're meant to do really good in the world instead of actually being you know crazy like the League of Assassins we know from the comic books but Ra's al Ghul freaking feels that the League can do so much more if they eliminate evil the way he sees it the way we know he sees evil in the comic books and he wants to train Bruce maybe he, he trains along with Bruce or maybe he does train Bruce under the you know the watchful eye of this other shaman guy and he's trying to get him to be one of his League of Assassin soldiers after, you know, he plans on... I think he's going to kill this other shaman guy. That's how he's going to become the head of the League of Assassins. That right there will cause a conflict between Bruce Wayne and Ra's al Ghul. Because he'll be like, no, I don't want to kill. I'm not going to kill. That's not what I'm going to do. Ra's going to be like, this is the only way to do it. And then maybe Bruce sees Ra's kill this other guy that has been training him to be the protector of Gotham and all of that jazz. Or they could all just be League of Assassins people trying to get Bruce to be evil with them or to kill when he already made his rule of not killing. But that still doesn't answer the question on why the hell he is there because at the far, as far as we know at the end of the episode he was kind of just laying low because the whole Jerome thing was like done and you know there wasn't really anything else. They caught Jerome, he was safe and they're just still just trying to run away from the League of Assassins. So something's gonna have to happen in that first episode or two that's gonna cause Bruce to go somewhere or he's possibly going to get kidnapped. Maybe he does get kidnapped by the League of Assassins and they bring him here because it does look like he wakes up in a place that he does not know and maybe this whole shaman guy is going to be the one to be like, yo, uh, yeah, let me help you out. Or, you know, maybe he's somebody that he meets on the first episode and he'd be like, I can train you to be who you want to be, Bruce. He's like, you just got to agree to come with me or whatever. And then that's when maybe they kidnap Bruce because he can't know where they're going or where this place is exactly. And maybe the Court of Owls see this happening or they know it's happening and they figure this is the best time to actually insert their Bruce Wayne into the world. And that's why Bruce is able to hit a target automatically. <coughs> Maybe that's why Bruce is so badass with the knife where he's able to hit that freaking bullseye with Alfred. Maybe Alfred's not going to know that Bruce is actually not Bruce and it's evil Bruce. Because remember, they fixed up the scars. They did all of that stuff. Maybe they've been training him to be more like Bruce Wayne. So he's Alfred is not going to be able to know which Bruce is Bruce. This would be perfect for the Court of Owls because they can tell him what they want him to do and he'll be able to do whatever and Alfred's just going to help along with him and be like, all right, if that's what you want. Uh, so that's going to be pretty interesting, although I'm pretty sure Alfred will catch on really quickly that it is not the regular Bruce and he's going to try to do something about it. Maybe we'll have a Bruce versus Alfred fight since, uh, you know, evil Bruce is pretty strong. I asked myself the question, what if the League of Assassins and the Court of Owls are working together and this is their whole plan? But then I kind of like threw that out the window because why would the Court of Owls, why would the Court of Owls allow 
the League of Assassins to train Bruce at all because that would just make it, you know, worse for the Court of Owls since he already has a vendetta against them. So I don't see that's going to work. A lot of people are like, the League's going to fight the court. I didn't see that anywhere. If you guys have that link to where somebody said the League is actually going to fight the court, uh, I'm totally down to look at it. Tweet me it on Twitter. But I kind of looked that up. I didn't really see anything. I don't know if you guys saw an interview I didn't see or whatever. But yeah, so I haven't heard that. That's a lot of people's theories that the court is going to fight the uh, League of Assassins. Which it's possible because the Court of Owls did say that something is coming. And that, you know, they were going to need people's help or whatever. Uh, that's what they were telling uh, at least Falcone. They were saying something's coming. And, uh, you know, you might need to be called upon or whatever. So it's very possible that the Court of Owls is preparing for a League of Assassins to start showing up in Gotham. That kind of makes sense because I think back in the day I thought that, alright, maybe the, you know, the Court of Owls was thinking that the new, like, uh, I guess trouble that is coming into Gotham was going to be like the villains and stuff like that because they're all crazy. But then when you really think about it, they made the villains. So they kind of already know about that and they should know how to take care of that problem. So, the League of Assassins might be the reason why they're scared of, you know, other people coming into the city and that's what they're preparing for. The question I'm asking myself is why did they show the footage of, you know, his parents getting killed again? I know he says the shaman guy was all like, you know, I've been waiting a long time for you to start your journey. So that could be like the start of when he realized that this is something that he wanted or that he was knew that Bruce was going to end up doing. And that kind of makes me think like, did the shaman guy know Bruce or his family at all before this? Could the shaman guy have known Bruce's dad somehow? Maybe, you know, he was training Bruce's dad a little bit or he was going to start training Bruce's dad, which, which would be kind of cool because remember Bruce's dad had the the secret freaking uh you know bat cave thing that he had the secret office and was talking about how he was trying to like i don't know he knew that things was going on in the company and maybe he wanted to fix them maybe he felt like he was gonna have to train to fix them maybe he was gonna be batman before batman was gonna be batman you know what i'm saying uh we've seen that in other comic book iterations where Thomas Wayne actually does become Batman because Bruce died or whatever. Um, so that would be pretty interesting if the shaman actually had some kind of connection to Bruce's dad. And that is kind of why they showed the flashback. Although I do think it is more of a, they're showing it because that is when the shaman felt that Bruce was going to, you know, start his journey at that point in his life. Also makes you think that the shaman might know who killed Bruce's family and that is why he wants him to train because they're you know he's not gonna be able to do this by himself without training or anything like that and it could be the court of vows he's like yes I do know who killed your family blah blah train with me and become the person you know Gotham needs you to be and then you can go after the people that need you can get justice for your family it could be something really interesting like that we are going to have to wait and see and luckily it's only about three weeks away before we actually get to see this freaking show again and I cannot wait for that because this has been taking forever it seems like to actually start seeing this and hopefully the season ends on a high note and we get a season four because right now nothing has been confirmed usually they do confirm it by the end of the season or right after the season is over so let's hopefully hopefully we get some good news anyways guys let me know your thoughts and theories about this mini promo for the second half of the season. Let me know what your thoughts are in the comment sections down below. Guys and gals, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up and share it with all your Gotham buddies. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button for all things nerdy and geeky on this channel. As always, I'm your host, Juicebox. Remember when you wake up in the morning, ask yourself something. If I'm into a little juice, see you guys next time. Bye.